Anxiety and depression are two prevalent mental health disorders that affect countless individuals worldwide. Anxiety refers to a mental health disorder characterized by feelings of worry, unease, or nervousness that either be mild or severe. It often consists of physical symptoms such as excessive sweating, trembling, and rapid heartbeat. On the other hand, depression, also known as major depressive disorder, is characterized by a persistent feeling of sadness or a lack of interest in outside stimuli. The person might feel persistent sadness, loss of interest, alterations in appetite, feeling worthless and much more. Both anxiety and depression can be caused by a combination of genetic, biological, environmental, and psychological factors. Our understanding of these disorders greatly contributes to our approach towards their treatment and management. Anxiety and depression are not just connected, they often feed off each other in a destructive cycle. Research suggests that people suffering from anxiety are more prone to develop depression and vice versa. The link between these two disorders comes from a variety of factors such as genetic predisposition, biological influences, and environmental circumstances. Significant life events, childhood trauma, stress, and other personal factors can trigger both disorders. They often share similar symptoms, making it difficult for individuals to determine the primary condition. Understanding their interplay is crucial in formulating effective treatment strategies, as treating one condition may alleviate the symptoms of the other. When individuals suffer from anxiety, they live in a constant state of worry and fear, and this pressure can over time lead to depression. Essentially, the chronic stress of dealing with anxiety and its symptoms can deplete the mental resources and resilience of an individual, leading to feelings of hopelessness and despair that characterize depression. Various scenarios can magnify this impact, such as prolonged exposure to stressful situations, lack of social support, or pre-existing mental health conditions. It's crucial to recognize these scenarios and contributing factors, providing early interventions like therapy or counseling sessions to combat these effects and prevent the onset of depression. Depression, characterized by persistent feelings of sadness, can often amplify anxiety. In a state of depression, individuals may experience heightened sensitivity to stress and adversity, thereby increasing feelings of worry and fear, the core characteristics of anxiety. Various real-life situations such as financial instability, personal crises, or significant life changes may exacerbate this process. Moreover, the physical lethargy and mental fatigue associated with depression may leave individuals more susceptible to anxiety, often creating a vicious cycle. It is essential for healthcare providers and patients themselves to recognize these influences and dynamics to intervene effectively, breaking the cycle and helping individuals regain their emotional balance. Managing anxiety and depression involves a holistic approach that varies for each individual. It can entail natural methods such as mindfulness exercises, yoga, and a balanced diet, which can help to reduce stress levels and improve overall mental health. Additionally, modern treatment options involve psychotherapy like cognitive behavioral therapy, which challenges anxiety-inducing thoughts and depressive mindsets, and medications such as selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, SSRIs, or serotonin and norepinephrine reuptake inhibitors, SNRIs, often used in treating both disorders. It's important to remember that what works for one person might not work for another, and a thorough exploration of options under professional guidance is highly recommended. Living with anxiety and depression might be challenging, but it's crucial to remember that they are manageable with the right understanding and help. The key takeaway is recognizing the interplay between these disorders and the substantial impact they can have on each other. Emphasizing the importance of management techniques and the various treatments available helps individuals realize they are not alone and there's help available. Lastly, the power of professional help can't be underestimated. Whether it's speaking to your doctor, a psychologist, or a psychiatrist, reaching out for support is often the first step towards recovery. Remember, it's okay not to be okay and reaching out for help is not a sign of weakness but a strength.